Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about Panorama. It's the application that helps you get more out of Salesforce with Box. Now, you're probably wondering if you should be watching this video. Well, here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. Are you using Salesforce? Do you store documents in Salesforce? Do you need to find documents across Salesforce objects? Well, if you answered yes to these questions, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in Salesforce, and of course, we're looking at a particular account record, in this case, MSI Financial. Now, let's grab some documents and get them into the repository. The repository, of course, being Box. So I'm going to drag a couple of documents into this drop zone control. So this control's objective is to give people a mechanism to add files to the repository. They can add them through this account record. Maybe they can add them through their contact record, through the customer portal on, in Salesforce, as well as maybe the box interface directly. And even your ERP can be a mechanism for getting documents in there, perhaps statements and so forth. But anyway, let's stick with the Salesforce entry points. In this example, we've dropped them into the account screen. Now, by virtue of coming in here, certain intelligence is automatically assigned to that document. Intelligence being metadata. So it knows that these two documents are now part of this particular account, but that's all it knows. Now, I want to take a look at all the documents wrapped around this MSI financial account. So I come up here and I hit Panorama. Panorama is the application that gives you a view into your content. Now you can see these are all the documents wrapped around this particular account. So instead of navigating through different folders underneath it, they're all sitting right there. Now you'll notice that there's a couple of files in the review state from the origin account screen, so the ones we dropped in together. There's some other documents in here already approved, looking good. One came from the box interface directly. Another one came through the customer portal from Salesforce. All right. Now, what I need to do is you'll notice document type not found. All right. That means this entry point doesn't automatically assign the doc type. No problem. I'll show you how to do that really easily using the profile capability. Now, Based on your role, you may be responsible for reviewing, okay, documents not just for this account, but perhaps for other accounts. If that's the case, no problem. Let's go to my criteria right here. I'm going to hit clear, and I'm going to go to status, and I'm going to say review, and of course, search. So now it's going to show me all of the documents that are in the review state. You'll notice there's a couple, of course, from us, MSI Financial, all right, that were dropped into the account screen. There are also a couple from MSI Advisors, a different account. One was dropped in via the customer portal. That one's in a review state because, again, it came in through the customer portal, but it does have a doc type. So the intelligence of adding doc types, that entry point, no problem. It assigned it just need to validate it. However, these that came in via the account screen, nope, they need to be validated. No problem. So what do I do? I click on profile and up pops the first document. Here I can take a look at the document and say, okay, it's an MS, uh, it's a master service agreement and I agree with it. So I hit approved and all I do is hit save it next. All right. And now the next document pops up. Also, when I'm hitting Save and Next, depending, it can send that information back to Salesforce saying, hey, Salesforce, I now have this approved document. All right. Doc type for this one, don't have one. So I'm going to go off and say you're an income statement and I'm going to say approved and I'll hit Save and Next. And again, up pops the next document. Now, this particular one, has a doc, has no doc type, but I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? While it is a non-disclosure agreement, it's not a fully executed one or the correct one, if you will. So instead of review, I'm going to uh, prove, I'm going to say rejected. Now, by virtue of hitting reject, and this varies by solution, but in this case, reject will automatically kick off a workflow for somebody to take a look at that document, simply by rejecting it. All right, here's my next document. Uh, this one happens to be also a non-disclosure. So I'll say, okay, non-disclosure, and I approve. And I hit save and next. If it's the last document, I'm all done. Here I am. You see how fast it was that I was able to quickly go through the documents and classify them. They're all profiled. Now, I'm going to close this out real quick. And I'm now back at, of course, my Salesforce screen. You'll notice these are still here. Well, are they really here? Let's refresh the screen. You'll notice when I refresh the screen, 
all of a sudden, those documents are gone. Because remember, we put them in the drop zone. Once they were processed, now they're filed in the correct location and tagged appropriately. If I come back to Panorama, again, my view into your content, I click on that. You'll notice all of my content for this account Okay, MSI Financial has been approved. And of course, the doc types are all there. And either workflows that need to be started have been started. Information that needed to be sent to Salesforce has been done. And we're all good to go. So what have you learned? Well, you learned Salesforce can be your primary document interface. That bot can add significant capabilities for managing your documents inside Salesforce. Integrating Salesforce and Box can increase productivity. Users can spend more time working with content and less time managing the content. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.